Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm John, and today I'm going to be cooking with some morel mushrooms. Alright guys, I'm in the kitchen again, and uh, we've got some morel mushrooms. So, Laura's son Zane and his girlfriend Melissa brought uh, over some morel mushrooms. And uh, this time of year, like in May, um, late April, um, here in Iowa in the Midwest, we start getting some morel mushrooms coming up. And it's really a big pastime for people to go out and forage for mushrooms. Um, and they're quite expensive, actually. People forage for them and then uh, end up selling them for, I mean, uh, even a couple of years ago, it was probably $40, $40 a pound. We're so thankful that they brought them to us. These morels in the spring are such a treat. Uh, anyways, the typical way that um, we prepare these is a lot of times we fry them, uh, coat them in usually like Ritz cracker crumbs um, and, and butter and fry them and they're delicious. Well, today we're going to go a different route with these. Um, we've got some minute steaks and uh, I'm going to fry those up. And we're going to make a nice gravy with the mushrooms, and I think it's just going to be delicious. These mushrooms are absolutely gorgeous. Um, man, look at them. They're all craggy and everything. I've got these uh, cleaned up now, so uh, some of these look a lot better than the others. Um, I'm showing you some of the good ones. Uh, the ones that don't look like this one... Um, that's what we're going to make into the gravy. We're going to save the nice looking ones for uh, frying. We're going to fry some up in um, the crackers and butter. I mean, we have to, right? They're just so darn delicious. Right, so as I mentioned, a uh, typical way to cook these is to fry up your morel mushrooms. Uh, Laura and I talked, and we wanted to do something different. Uh, so we talked about um, like minute steaks in a morel gravy um, on top of mashed potatoes, and that just sounded so delicious. Um, so uh, the sauce is going to be with some mushrooms and onions and going to make a, a roux. Um, and then eventually season it with some thyme, uh, some Worcestershire sauce, pepper, you know, generous amounts of pepper, and salt, and um, it's just going to be delicious. So, got to get these chopped up, got to get some onions chopped up, and then uh, we'll get to cooking. All right, we're just gonna season up this flour with some salt, some pepper, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. It just adds a little bit of flavor to the, the seasoning, or to the, to the flour. Um, we are just going to coat the meat uh, in the flour, just do a little quick dredge, 
Uh, we're not going to bread uh, this meat because it's going to go in the gravy and we don't want it to just get soggy. So I've removed the minute steak and uh, we've got it in a pan in the oven. Uh, I've got to finish cooking in the oven. And then um, I've got the mushrooms and onions in the pan. We're going to cook it in the same pan that we cooked the uh, minute steak. So we're going to get all those little bits off the bottom of the pan. And um, yeah, it's just going to be so tasty. We gotta get this cooked up. We gotta get the mushrooms soft and the onions um, more soft. So we just returned the uh, minute steak to the, the gravy and let it finish cooking there. We're going to get that plated up. Oh my gosh. Was this one of my favorite meals we've had in a while? <laughs> yeah, Super so good. comforting and rich and delicious. Yeah, just what I wanted that night. So come find us on social media if you haven't yes. already. Subscribe to all the channels too. We will put links to that down in the comments. They're always there in That's every video. Right. Look at that. Don't you want to eat it? Oh my gosh. I that's, want to eat it again. <laughs> I do too. Anyway, that's all we have for today, guys. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.